Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Blake McKernan name. So everybody that's just hearing about me, man, just know that I, you know, I appreciate everybody's love and support. You know, I'm just here, I'm chasing after success. You know, everybody out here has a dream that they want to fulfill. Right now in the position that I'm in right now, I've been dreaming about this moment ever since I was 10 years old. So uh, I'm loving this journey so far. I'm 5-0 with four knockouts. Believe me when I tell you, you guys are looking at the next future All-American Cruiserweight World Champion and, um, you know, support the movement, baby. We're on our way to the top. Now, last question. Are there any names at Cruiserweight? You have Tony Bellew. He's moving up to heavyweight to fight David Hay. Are there any? You got Usyk. The Cruiserweight division is starting to become alive and well. Any names that just really stand out that you can see yourself mixing it in with soon? I see some of the people that uh, I eventually will be fighting are like Khabidi, which is signed with um, Mayweather, Mayweather Promotions. Promotion. I think Tony Bellow, even though he is moving up to uh, heavyweight, you know, I think he'll fluctuate and bounce back between cruiserweight and heavyweight. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to when the time is right, fighting, you know, the best fighters that I have to to be able to retain my crown and get that belt, man. So, in the future, more than likely, look forward to fighting, uh, you know, I believe his name is Andrew Tabidi, uh, Tony Bello, and who knows, even maybe uh, David Hayes, man. We'll just have to see, you know, uh, you know what lines itself up. Definitely. Now, last message to fans, and where can they follow you? So, for everybody that wants to follow me, you guys can follow me on Facebook as Blake McKernan, or follow me on uh, Instagram as Blake the Beast McKernan One. Appreciate Support the it. Team McCorn and Movement, baby. Let's go. Sacramento Kings or the Warriors? Oh, man. I got to support both of them. But, hey, man. Sacramento, oh, California, wow. okay. baby. Oh, hey, wow. man. I'm a, I'm a Kings fan. I'm born and raised in Sacramento, man. So, you know, oh, I always got to support my Kings. I'm hella mad, though, that we just got rid of... 
bougie, man. Uh, Demarcus Cousins, man. That made no sense. That made no sense. And I heard we you got know what? The Warriors got Matt Barnes now. I know. What's crazy this though is, is that crazy. we waved Matt Barnes. We didn't even get nothing for him. They just let him go. Y'all, y'all getting rid of Cousins was one of the worst decisions. I think what. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll say the positives and the negatives. Negatives first, I think getting rid of DeMarcus Cousins, why it was bad was on paper, he's ranked one of the best centers in the league right now. Not just that, the dude does so much for the city of Sacramento. The dude's an all-star. When was the last time Sacramento had an all-star? You know what I'm saying? So just for those top three reasons, he'll be dearly missed, but then on the side of things, one thing about DeMarcus Cousins, even if he is watching this, I'm a big fan, but sometimes in the heat of the moment, we let our emotions get the best of us. And, you know, everybody that's watched DeMarcus play, you know, sometimes lets his emotions get the best of him and kind of loses himself out on the court. So that's something that I feel that he'll uh, learn to deal with and be able to mature and grow with as he, you know, gets a little bit older and maybe learns how to do things differently. But all in all, the dude's a, a, a really good ball player. He'll be dearly missed. The city of Sacramento misses him, man, but we wish him all the best. Definitely. Now, you had a chance to go to the new arena, the Golden One Center. Yep. How was it? Oh, man, it was dope. You know, shout out to the Sacramento Kings organization. So, I've always been a diehard Kings fan. I'm born and raised in Sacramento. But, uh, you know, even being able to rub elbows with the Sacramento Kings, the Sacramento Kings organization heard about me, brought me to a Kings game, me and a few of my team members, and gave us courtside seats and even uh, oh, wow. put up a little video on the Jumbotron and announced me at the game. So, you know, like I said, the, the city's holding me down, man. I'm repping my city, my city's repping me, and, uh, you know, we're on our way to the top, baby. Yeah, we need some fights out here. Some, not UFC. We need hey, boxing too. I'm gonna be the first big fighter in Sacramento to bring a big fight venue to Golden One. Believe that. Let's That'll go. That'll be dope. Look forward to it once again. Where can they follow you? So again, Instagram Blake the Beast McKernan One, Facebook Blake McKernan Man. Support the Team McKernan Movement. Let's go, man. Boxing ego. We out. Whoop. Nine one six.